My name is Yachio Teramura, and I am 92 years old. I've been living here since 1960. Until then, I lived in a walk-up apartment, which was dreadful for me because with two toddlers, baby carriage, laundry, groceries, it was just too much for me to go up and down those stairs. Uh, since I was living in a walk-up, I had to move. So uh, my husband and I decided to move into the uh, New York City housing project. The first day that they showed me the apartment, which was on the 18th floor, I was just delighted because there was so much sunshine coming through the windows and I could see all of Harlem and I could see Hudson River and I saw Riverside Church and Edgewater, New Jersey and it was just delightful and I, I thought I, I, I really was in heaven and it was such a relief that now I didn't have to walk up those five flights of stairs they have an elevator here. But well, now that I'm 92 years old, the apartment is too big for me. And there's three bedrooms, and I would like to move to a smaller apartment. But then I gave that up since I was rejected from so many places. The rent I pay is $864. Now, if I were to apply to a new apartment, I'm sure it would cost over a thousand dollars. And since I have a washing machine in the kitchen, and at one time I had a, a parrot who died, but uh, uh, if I had moved to a new place, I doubt if they let me have a, par a pet, and it's certainly not a washing machine. I try to keep busy now, because I'm getting older and I have to, I can't just sit around. So on Monday, I go to Spanish class. And I usually eat lunch there at the senior center, Hamilton, Hamilton House on West 73rd Street. And then on Tuesday, they have a sing-along class, which I go to. Uh, oh, sing-along, I really enjoy because I sing. You know, I used to listen to the radio, as I said before, learn all the popular songs, and I sing them now, because that's what he plays. So I have fun, yeah. Wednesday is a free day. Thursday, I go to, way down to Hudson Guild, which is on 18th Street and 9th Avenue, and uh, I go to an opera class. It's called a live arts class now not an opera class because he, uh, the teacher narrates on uh, ballet videos, uh, opera videos, and sometimes movie videos. And uh, I've been going there since 1999, which is a long time. When I'm not at the classes, of course I have doctor's appointments, which I fill up on Wednesdays and Fridays. Otherwise, I usually watch television a lot. Of, in fact, too much. I should not watch television so much, do other more creative things. But since I'm so old, every morning I do exercises. I do it on my bed because my floor is too hard and not the cleanest. So I do my exercise on the bed for a half hour. And uh, sometimes I feel lazy to do it, but I know being old, I, I, I have to do it. And when I do it, I feel good about it. Then I eat breakfast. Sometimes if I'm in a hurry, I, I skip breakfast and eat lunch at the senior center, which they have good lunches. And I go out to eat a lot. I bring, buy food a lot, bring in and uh, my girls, they bring me a lot of food. Oh, as far as food is concerned, I eat everything. I love it, food. And um, my husband used to call me garbage disposal because I eat everything. 
And whatever he leaves on his plate, I used to finish that up too, because I didn't like to waste food. I think that's one of the reasons why I'm healthy, because I eat everything, and a lot of it. Well, my thinking is, as I get older, I don't care about a lot of things because there's no point in being worried about anything at my age. That's why I say I don't care. Some things I do care, but what are you going to do about it at age 92? And I don't want to have anything on my mind to bother me. <laughs> Well, you know what I used to say? They used to laugh. I said, sleep by yourself. Yeah. Or either they have two um, separate mattresses. This is what happened. At 14, I used to sleep with my sister. Oh, my goodness. She pulled the blanket, put her around this. And I was one of those that slept like a log, just you know, all one, one way, and all, all night I'd be that way. So uh, they say, what, what is the reason why you're married so long? And I would tell them, you've got to sleep by yourself and have a good night's sleep. You could always get together if necessary. <laughs> they think that's funny, but it's true. You have to have a good night's sleep in order to be, you know, healthy. <laughs>